I am very happy and it's a great honor for me to be here and to, to have been asked to, to add or to contribute in closing these two-day conference. Um, I think developing urban futures is one of the pressing topics all over the world. Um, and I think you have been here in Addis at a very special time. Uh, when it was decided that the conference would take place here in Addis, I think nobody had imagined the dramatic changes that have been going on here in the country for the last about six months. Um, and you can see this opening up even in the city related to the topics you were discussing during the last two days. You see come down fences around plots of lands that have been uh, attributed to investors um, for certain projects, but those projects have never materialized, and the city is, go is taking this land back from them. And, well, during there were pretended projects, there were fences, but now the fences are taken down. You can see, you can see much more of the city, which is quite amazing for those who drive through the city every day. I have been, I feel very privileged to have been able to listen to outstanding experts in various fields. Um, being a diplomatic or a, a foreign, serv foreign service civil servant, um, I'm not an expert in urbanization and in urban issues. We touch on very many fields during our uh, professional career and hardly become an expert of anything. Um, but, um, of course, having, as a diplomat, having lived in a number of cities throughout the world, like Cairo, Cairo, by the way, in the 80s, and Cairo in the 2000s, um, in Istanbul, um, in New York, and now in Addis, I can relate to a lot of issues you have been d discussing during the last days, from environment to transport to housing and uh, what have you. Um, but let me add that I'm also very proud that a renowned private society from Germany, together with the well-known London School of Economics from, from the UK, have put up this outstanding program. Um, this seems to be a, a well-established um, cooperation, like so many between Germany and Great Britain. Um, and. Um, this is a, a cooperation that with Brexit coming, um, <laughs> coming, yes, coming, um, is even more um, relevant and more important than, than in the past. And I'm very happy that my British colleague, my wonderful um, British colleague, who is not only a colleague but also a friend, has also been here this morning um, to briefly um, speak to you. This shows, I think, that on an individual, personal level, um, cooperation is still going on very strongly. Um, and as an ambassador, of course, I'm always happy to accompany, to support, or in this case, more to accompany um, cooperations between scholars and practitioners, not only between Germany and Great Britain, but from a large part um, of the world, in this case also from uh, many parts of Africa. And I think I will go home with a lot of new insights and a lot of uh, food for thought uh, from all your contributions. And I would like to thank the organizers and all the participants for this wonderful conference. Thank you so much.